Eh, I guess that will work. I guess it'll work. Eh. Let's hit wait. Okay. So it took about 20, 30, 20, 30 seconds before I got started because I didn't think the recorder was working. Um, but hello everyone. My name is Dragon Game Kiffon Gaming. And today is our review of We Will Meet Once More. I'm sorry this took so long to get out. And you're actually going to later uh, get a, like later in the week, get one final theory on, uh, I wouldn't say on the channel, but uh, we're going to get a theory on Tears of the, Zelda, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom before it goes out, but um, you will see that soon. And you're going to just have that accompanied by footage of me playing Skyward Sword. All right, so let me get kind of straight to the point here. Uh, I liked We Will Meet Once More. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I play We Will Meet Once More. It's a visual novel by Genius Studio Japan. I played that on the channel recently. Uh, we recently just finished it about two weeks ago, if I throw my numbers right. But I really enjoyed it. I loved every single part of it. And the music, by the way, that's not just music they just came up with, by the way. It's music that actually belongs to somebody. And I'm surprised I did not get claimed, claimed or striked for it. Um, but uh, it's the it's uh, the original music is called If I Can't Fall in Love With You, which I think, I, personally, I think that really, truly does a really good job of explaining kind of Harumi's dilemma in the game. I should have probably brought up that this game... This review will include spoilers, so, um, you know, watch your own risk. Um, so, long story short, uh, is that Hiromi and Pomose are little characters of love interest who doesn't make it at the end of the game. She has something wrong with her liver, it's not disclosed, and I think that's a good idea never to disclose it. Originally, I wanted to try to figure out what it was. But at the same time, I felt like I was not really qualified to do such a thing. And that, on top of that, that's, you know, for the channel, the cover or something like that isn't really something that we are known to do. But it's going to be something that's going to change here on 4th. Um, especially in Dragon Thunder Realm, for sure. Let me see if I even got that right. I probably did not get that right. Yeah, I got that right. Okay. So, um, the music, especially in moments where it mattered, it did a pretty good job of conveying those emotions in the scenes. Uh, in particular, so in the final episode, I there is a scene where, and I'm going to have to do a little bit more research for this video, so that's why that video hasn't gone out yet. I have to really look at that one and, you know, make sure I've got credible sources and everything. But, um, it talks about a crematorium. And the scene in it is the music, although I even mentioned in the recording, the music's pretty low. And, but I could hear it in the when I was recording it. So you're just going to have to take my word for this or play the game for yourself is that it really does add to the emotion in the scene. And there's several examples of that throughout the entire game. I wouldn't be able to list them all, especially not in this little review. The characters, for sure, uh, focusing on one love interest and just focus on telling the story helped this game in ways I can't begin to list. Because usually in Genius Studio games, we talk about harems, which in short is basically where the, the our main protagonist, usually a dude, but there is reverse harems, which do kind of the opposite. It's girl after a bunch of guys, where the girls are just really like your character, and you eventually have to make a decision at the end who you're going to be with. 
best meal. It's basically the basis of every Genius Studio Japan game. Or <laughs> most of them. There are a couple of... It. There are definitely a couple of examples that I'm mentioning here. Of which that's not the case. But overall that tends to be the case. It helped it come get emo- any emotions that they wanted down through Hiromi or through the story uh, done and made sure, hey, these are going to pull off, the story is going to be focused on, which is honestly something that doesn't happen much in their games. And I was able to be more engaged with the story. And look, I'm not saying you don't write engaging stories most of the time. I have gotten a little too involved in a couple of their stories in particular. Um, but it made you think, um, especially with the way Hiromi's story is presented in a, such a way where you honestly kind of go, is this, this is a story or am I reading real life and put into a game? There actually has been a couple games just like that, but they've been more horror based. And I felt like I was I've mentioned it several times in the playthrough, but I mentioned like I felt like I was the character. And that tells you something, especially with that game, how it heavily heavily helped it in storytelling. So okay, so I've talked about th- those the story, I've talked about the music, the gameplay. We're talking Genius Studio Japan over here. They are notorious. Like, they have good games, but they are really, really badly known for their microtransactions in their games. Not going to try to, you know, oh, they're one of my favorite game developers. You know, be super blind about it, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that they do that. Uh, and a lot of them make you like the bad guy for a lot of the free options. Unless you are one of the lucky sons of the guns that happen to get a full page version of their game. Um, that's usually when you can pick really whatever you want. And I haven't really seen much of their newer stuff beyond PC or anything. So I'll have to, I'll have to let you guys know on that one. But um, Honestly, um, I would personally say that that game has a 10 out of 10 rating for me. Like, it's not perfect, especially. Uh, now that, let me change this to reflect my review. It's, it's not perfect by any means, for sure. But it gets it, and it gets, the game messes with you enough. It, it made you think, all right. You got more emotionally attached to the characters in the story. Not just because it could happen. But it was something that you didn't really... You normally wouldn't pay attention to such a thing. I had something... I'm going to add on to this. Um, The more that you are acquainted with their subject material, especially... In that game in particular, the more that game dawns on you, the more it takes, you know, the more emotional drill throw out of you. Because you've basically pretty much seen it once, and now you're kind of forced to relive it in a way. And I'm not saying that's absolutely like a good thing. Sometimes it's not, but you have to like the more or that I'm going to use old Yar even now. I have not seen the film. If I have, it's been a while. So old Yar is really like known as being a really sad movie. But if you are more, if you know more about the stuff that old Yar talks about, then you're going to be more ready to ball your eyes out at that and in, in that movie because you've experienced that sort of thing. And I feel like 
we will meet once more. Does a pr another good job of that in particular. Um, and that seems to be a major case. Like, we're not going to... In, none of us in our daily lives are going to... You know, we're, gonna, we're not going to be apartment managers and have three girls that are in our apartment, to, you know, want to woo us over. <laughs> That's actually a plot of one of their games, uh, Genius Studios games. But we are more likely to run into someone having a terminal illness and how do we react to that? How do we want to make them see another day, you know? You know? Um, so you are more likely to see that than we are a lot of their harem games. Only you just are really good with the weights, which then I envy you. But I think a lot of the points from it tend to just be uh, from, like, the stuff I'm kind of hating it seems to be more in the gameplay side and more in the story. And let's be honest, for results here, any visual helpful game, especially in a mobile, is very, very indoors for microtransactions. They're just kind of... Ooh! That's not, the, that's not what we uh, kind of are hoping for, but then... That's pretty much what I've got to say before I repeat myself over and over and over again. And we will meet once more. Um, and I hope you guys actually enjoy the... Uh, if you want to, go check out the series. It's pretty cool. And if you definitely like kind of like more commentaries like myself doing this, then of course, subscribe. I would appreciate you around, and if you want to do us a favor, like the video as well, and comment what you think, um, of course, but um, that's pretty much it. You are going to get another commentary. It's not going to be on the Serpent's Call map that we are working on right now. We're working on Sapphire's Castle, but that's what we're going to basically, I'm going to boot up my 360, and we're going to talk about Stampy. And, um, but that, you're, you're going to get that pretty on. Uh, if you've been paying attention to Stable on this video and the channel, much less the video on how I think Stampy's overall is going to end, then you already know how, what this next video is going to be about. And keep an eye out for the new Eden Zero series. Um, I don't say I really enjoy playing it. I'm thinking about uh, recording another one of those as well, but um, this this had to come first. So, all right, that's pretty much everything, and uh, I'm going to continue building our staff's castle and find a way to drain this that isn't such a uh, pain in the butt. But uh, <laughs> uh, and this way I can work on mobile, and um, next. Is going to be kind of more when we work on this next. It's going to, I'm going to, it's going to add a bunch of extra details out of video. And then I'm going to you know, work on the final boss area, uh, more or less. But that's going to be kind of stuff I do out of video. And uh, when I get this done, it's, of course, is going to be done and released as well. Um, and this is uh, my first real proper adventure map. So stay tuned for any downloads or anything that you want to pay attention to there. I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I've said that once before. I shall see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to uh, continue building this. Bye.